it's detectable. <laughs> We've arrived. <clears throat> and I'm, if you hadn't guessed, with the metal detecting channel and Stu, their friend Stu. So we're bearded up. Let's do it. Lovely lot, welcome to Detectable. TMDC, the metal detection channel. Big feels. <laughs> hey, Stu, say hello, Stu. It's Detectable day one. We're on plough field and we've got the Manticore. So we'll see how we get on. We'll see you in a bit. Well, we're here, we're doing it. And we've got the first target of the day, we're in the 30s. Here's a little pewter button. That's all right. Yeah, we had a very pleasant evening last night. A few beers, we're drunk. Some lovely friendly faces and some familiar faces. And day one, we're off and running. So we'll see you in a bit. And I've just noticed, just about to shove it in the bag, it's actually got a really nice flower pattern on it. That, oh, that's a very cool start. We don't mind that at all. Let's give it a wipe. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Lovely. Right, so then, we'll see you in a bit. Well, since you last saw me, I've had a couple of bits of lead. And young Rick has had a very, very nice find, but I'll let you watch his channel to see what that is. But we've got a 41 42, and it's on the target line there. So let's see what we got. Yuck. Well, after what feels like a long time of swinging with, swinging with no joy, I think we've got a find. I thought it was just gonna be a, um, like a bird ring or something like that, but when I picked it up, and it was in the 40s, by the way, I've just seen that. Now that looks very exciting. Look, it's got some lovely pattern on it. Dare I say ring and dot. <laughs> Could it be a little ring of some description? Right. Wow, that could be a very cool find. Let's give it a squirt, and I'll be back to you in a second. That is very cool. I don't know. I'm presuming it's a ring. It's a small ring. But I think it's got to be. It's too nice, isn't it, to not, to not be? Or something like that, anyway. And it looks like, I don't know whether that's just bits of brick or what, but... It looks like there might be a little bit of colour there, so I don't want to overdo it. Oh wow, that is mucho nice. Excellent. Well, that's a cracking find. Let's um, see if we can find some more. Well done, Manticore. Everybody just keep cool. Keep cool, man. Right, well, we just stopped for a bit of refreshment, and then we're... Uh, Cracking on again, we had a 38, um, pretty consistent 38. I thought I was filming it actually, but I, it didn't happen, so uh, apologies. Uh, but we've got a rim, so I'm hoping it's a, a coin, it's green. There we are. Your guess is as good as mine right now. Very claggy. Oh, that's so far so good. Any shank? No, no shank. Excellent. So yes, we have a coin, but what have we got? Let's give it a clean. Back to you in a sec. 
I do like my father. I, do, I find a lot of farthings. Can't remember who told me that. Oh, I think it was Ash, wasn't it? Yeah, I do find a lot of farthings. And we found another one. 1865, so that can only be. Where is she? There she is. The lovely Queen Victoria. Quite a young one. Excellent. Well, we don't mind that. We're on the coins. Very, very pleased indeed. And I'm having a lovely time. See you in a bit. Right. We had a 27 on the surface, and that's what it is. Is it coin or button? I'm calling button because it's got, it looks like it's got a bit of a pattern on it. Yeah, it's a button. Now, oh, well, don't mind that. Little four hole up, and we move on. Right, next one was an 82, and I've just bumped into, there he is, the lovely Nathaniel. Go and check out, you'll know who Nathaniel is, but if you're not, if you don't, get over to his channel. I'll put a link in the description. Nathaniel's Outdoor Adventures, one absolutely amazing fella. And then we had an 82, I think I mentioned. Sorry, I'm in and out with the old Zoom. And it's that. Um, I thought it might be a coin, but I'm not sure sure now. If I'm honest, I think it's probably a big old button or something like that. Not even that. One of them. It's a lovely tone, as you'd imagine. Yeah, don't know what that is. A bit of cack with a hole in it, I think. But uh, if there's anything else there, I'll let you know. Great, let's move on. Well, the next one is a bit of fun. It's a lovely 34. And I knew it was lead pretty quickly, but I wasn't quite sure. So I'll just give it a wipe, because it, it felt like it was something. Hello. Hello, hello. Now, I don't know, cow, sheep, I, I don't know. But it's a little farmyard animal. How lovely. Right, we're heading back to the, uh, to the camp for our lunch now. And then we might try a different field after lunch. So stick with us and we'll see you in a bit. deep into the afternoon now and the reason you haven't seen anything is because we haven't found anything quite honestly but no we're, uh, we're still having a great time though it's getting a bit chilly we're moving on to another field so um, I'll uh, yeah we've got one of those it was in the 30s we're on a bit of stubble at the moment and uh, yeah we've got a, a ringy thing horsey ringy thing whatever it is see you in a bit well <clears throat> we're moving fields left right and centre at the moment and this field has been had a lot of activity on it, and we've got a sunbather. If you can see it, there we are. Looks coin-like, doesn't it? Let's uh, let's have a look. Apologies. Hmm. Very thin. Got to be in it. But what kind? Right, let's give it a clean. Back in a sec. Well, there we are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a, a little jet or something like that. I don't know. Um, looks like there might be some detail on that side, which is quite encouraging. So yeah, oh, that's all right. We don't mind that. Obviously, people have missed stuff because that was literally sitting on the top. We'll crack on. See if we can find a few more. See you in a bit. And then straight from sunbathing, relatively blank thin coin to a another one that was just under the surface which was a 50 and it's a little button with the shank so I've obviously found a little patch that someone's missed cool let's move on look at that our patience has paid off there's young Michael and young Rick from the metal detecting channel there they are all right that's um, yeah, so I'm not sure about, well, there's lots of really cool stuff come up, by the way. So I'm sure there'll be lots of videos and uh, Facebook posts and all that kind of jazz. We've done okay. Um, and it's, we've still got an hour or two left, which is pretty good. Um, you must go over to, to visit um, Treasure Hunting with Tom and Marie. Uh, and I'll put their logo up now because we haven't been with them today, but we have seen some of the stuff they've found. And you need to get over and have a look at some of that because 
they've had a cracking day. Anyway, we had an 11, which I dug because we're on a field that's been done quite a bit. And that looks like a little bag seal. And I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little bust on it facing right. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let's just give that a, qu a quick clean and I'll be back to you in a second. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Some chap facing right. And obviously some sort of bag seal. It's obviously lead. Uh, not sure if there's anything on that side. But yeah, that's very cool. We don't mind that at all. Excellent. Right. Let's see if we can get a few more. Well, that man there, Mr Hill of the TMDC, has had an absolute barnstorming day. And he's also just found himself as one of his bucket listers. But I won't give anything away because obviously this video will probably come out two or three days before theirs. So make sure you're watching Saturday 6pm, folks. Um, yeah, I got something in the, uh, in the 70s. And it looks like a coin. But it looks like quite a modern coin. So what have we got? Is it a penny? What's that? Oh, it's a threepence. It's a threepence. Oh, I've never had one. Never found one, would you believe? In nearly three years of detecting, I've never found one of these little bad boys. Oh, excellent. Let's see if we can get a date off it. Brilliant. There we are. 1943 threepence. I never, ever will mind that because that's the first one I've ever found. Look at that. George VI, in case you're wondering. There he is, 1943. Right in the smack bang in the middle of the Second World War, this coin was minted. Very cool, I love that, that's awesome. Right, see so if we can find one or two more. See you in a bit. Well, we're getting to the near to the end of the day now, and cold beer and food and a sit down is calling. But before that, We've got a nice one in, right on the edge of the field, look. 58, 59, 60, 61. Let's dig it up. And apologies, by the way, for the lack of live digs today, because it's, um, to be honest with you, I've not really had that many targets that have made me go, oh yeah, lovely, other than this one, really. So, uh, found some nice stuff, though. I mean, that, um, that ringy thing is very interesting is very interesting. So um, yeah, let's hope we've, uh, we've found something good there. It's in here somewhere. What we got? What are you? Uh, oh yeah, nice. Yeah, lovely. Nice little buckle. Still with the little um, the plate bit on it. You see that? Oh, that's lovely. Let's just give that a wipe on the tail. Oh, we don't mind that. I don't think it's overly old. But we don't mind that at all. Nice little buckle. Excellent. You see that? There it is. Yep, don't mind that at all. See if we can find one or two more. See you in a bit. Right, we did get one more. Uh, it was a nice, very scratchy 1920, and obviously I have found it and wiped it. Um, so I wasn't expecting it to be anything. Thought it was a bit of cack, but yeah, look at that. That's obviously off a, off a thimble. And because of the flat edge, I suspect that's one of those kind of open top flim thimbles from way back when, medieval or whatever it was. But yeah, that's pretty cool, lovely and green. Excellent, all right. Running out of time now, we've got about 40 minutes. Mike and Rick have gone, because they've got their, it's Saturday obviously, when we're filming this, so they've got their live premiere at six o'clock. Uh, so they've headed back to the tent, and I'm gonna give it 20 more minutes, and then I'm calling it a day too. So hopefully we'll get one more, uh, or two. If not, thanks as always, I hope you've enjoyed it, and um, we've had a great day. Um, it's nice to see a bit of blue sky up there at the moment as well, so hopefully that will remain for tomorrow, and we look forward to seeing you for day two. Take care.
welcome to the roundup. Obviously, I'm home now. Um, and Detectable was amazing. Spring Detectable, that is. And uh, yeah, that was day one. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, unfortunately, I think I had the Manticore set to buttons uh, rather than treasure, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but there was absolutely tons of wonderful stuff found. Uh, not least the channels that I've mentioned already. Uh, but also plenty of gold, plenty of relics, pl plenty of, you know, proper history uh, dug up over those um, couple of days. Special shout out to the lovely Andrew and Kelly, uh, who I met um, for the second time. I met them last year on the uh, in North Wales in the Detectic Nation weekender. Bumped into them by pure chance on the first night or second night. Um, and uh, Andrew showed me his lovely... William the Third gold half guinea love token, which is an absolute thing of beauty. And I'll pop a, a picture of that up in the corner now so you can see what he found. It's absolutely stunning. So, yeah, tons of really great stuff came out. So congratulations to everybody that found the good stuff. Um, as for me, <laughs> well, a lot of the cack obviously went in the buckets on the field. So you don't want to bring that all the way home. But a few bits of lead, bullet casings, nails and bits and bobs. Tons and tons of buttons, uh, and that was my first find of the day, I as I recall, uh, and that was the, probably the nicest button of them all. So yeah, little nice little flowery pattern on that one. Um, as for the other stuff, we found a ringy thing that feels a bit cast and a fit and a bit worked to me. So I reckon that's proper old. That could even be a little bit broochy, but not sure. Don't tend to find out about them, do we? Little decorative piece of something or other. A little farmyard, I think it's a sheep or a ram or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, buckle, not sure how old, not particularly old, I don't suppose. My very first Thrupney bit on the left there, 1943. Um, three pence, never found one of those before, so I was actually very pleased with that. We had an 1865 Queen Vicky uh, farthing. And this little thing, which I found towards the end of the day, as you can probably just about see, is definitely a coin of some description. You can see some of the, the letters on the top right there. Um, I've not been able to clean up any more than that. Uh, so I'm expecting it to be some sort of jetton or token or something like that. Then we had a, a lovely little bit of a medieval thimble. I think that's what that is. One of those kind of open topped ones. So that would have been very, very nice had it been whole. Love this. I found a very similar bag seal way back when on my permission, which had Queen Anne on it. And obviously this has got somebody else, some gentleman facing right, possibly another monarch, some sort of cloth seal maybe, don't know. Nothing on the back, but very cool. And again, don't mind that at all. And then I guess the find of the day, but it's a bit of a mystery, um, is this one. Definitely a ring of some description. One, I, I thought it was ring and dot, I don't think it is, I think it's just decorative. Um, so I don't think it's Saxon, but it is... I would suggest, very, very old. Um, don't know what it is or what it was for. If you've got any opinions, do let me know. But either way, I think that's a pretty cool find. Uh, and that'll get a proper clean up and a bit of art to seal on it and see what it looks like. But yeah, some, some interesting finds uh, and thoroughly enjoyable day. We had a lovely first night. There was a few hangovers in the camp, naming no names, the Dark Knight Detectorist. Um, but actually, uh, some, some great fun was had by all. So I hope you enjoyed day one. Day two, had some a couple of really nice finds on day two. So stay tuned for that. That will be next week's video. Thanks as always for stopping by. Take it easy and we'll see you soon.